Hi there, Joka here with a bunch of cards that I've created with uh, various collections from the Spabinders August release. All of these products are Christmas products and because I was lacking time, I used a few collections um, in this video. I didn't actually use all the products that I'm showing here, uh, but I'm showing you all the products that I have. This uh, Santa is... Um, I think it's called Dancing Santa. There's three of these dancing sets that you can make interactive. Um, and there is a snowman. I used parts of this, uh, but not the snowman. Then um, the third one is my favorite. This one is a deer. It's so adorable. And um, the first one, actually, I did not mention. That was a, the, I think it's called Holiday Express, a train. Um, I think think um it, okay so this is um a glimmer sentiment set that i didn't uh use because i would have needed more time but i will come back to this definitely because you know that i love glimmer sentiment and this one also exists in a stamp set so if you don't have a glimmer machine then you can use the stamp set uh, now, again, this is another product that I didn't use, some uh, die-cut sentiments, um, mostly Christmas stuff, but I think there's also hugs in it, but there's things like uh, Naughty or Nice, um, I'm trying to read, <laughs> Merry Christmas, uh, Dear Santa, Christmas Cheer, um, you know, and, and those kind of things, so you can also die cut a shadow. Then another stamp set that is for tags. This is the stamp set that I mentioned that it looks like this. Uh, it's the same as the Glimmer set. Um, another one with um, nice sentiments that I will be using. And this one comes with a die for the wishing you. And these are the colors that I am going with. And I will also add some neutrals, of course. So I die cut a few things. I die cut the deer. Um... I am not going to make this uh, these cards interactive, um, so I will just, you know, glue the deer and the Santa together. I will not uh, bother with the dancing legs. Um, no reason why not. Um, maybe it's quicker this way, although I don't think it would make a huge difference. I think it's just the fact that I don't often make... Um, interactive cards and I don't know it's it doesn't come as a second nature or something uh, now this Christmas tree here is actually from the snowman kit um, and what else was from that I think I'm going to use some presents but with the train card but first I'm just going to show you how I put everything together um, I don't know if you can tell uh, the pieces are already uh, glued on uh, a heavyweight uh, uh, white cardstock, so maybe you can tell that they are a bit more dimensional. I always do this because I like my pieces to be sturdy and a, a bit more dimensional than you know color cardstock would be. And also, I used not many, but a few uh, pieces of pattern papers here and there. Now you can see that the neck here. Um, well, I don't think it would hold the head steady, so I'm just adding some paper in the back to make that area flush, and then uh, a larger piece of paper to hold them all safely together, if that makes sense. Oh, and the hat is also not from the reindeer or deer kit, it's from the uh, snowman uh, set, so I borrowed it from there. And I am not gluing everything together yet because I don't know how I want to place these on the cards, as in um, I don't know where I want the arms to be. So um, for now, I'm just uh, putting most of them together so that I have them out of my way. You know, the I don't have a lot of uh, surface where I can craft. So I'm always trying to put everything together and then set them aside until I figure out what I want to do for my car design really, or for the background. So they are really 
straightforward actually there's a lot of embossed lines on the main pieces so you see where uh, everything goes and then while I was uh, trying to figure out where I should put the um, beard I noticed that this this face would totally be c cool for an elf I think um, you see like so without the beard but um, then I made it into Santa in the end um, so I think there's uh, two ways you can do the hand um, there's those two black pieces that you see those would be for when he's holding something and it's kind of you know his fingers are visible on front of let's say the gift but I did not do that in the end I just left the gloves red like so um, I think I forgot about it in the end so um, yeah I'm going to set these aside for now and uh, work on the um, train and I did well I normally I would uh, create videos with every collection separately so um, but you know as I'm going on holiday I just didn't have time so this is a, a very long video um, if it's not your thing then <laughs> just skip it but uh, I do make six cards and uh, I try to leave as much of the footage as possible I hope it's not too much um, let's see I probably will not have anything to talk about so you will hear me rambling probably but um I guess you are already used to it. So uh, again, the train is also, uh, it, it's a lot of small pieces. So it was first, it was very overwhelming, but then again, there are embossed lines on, uh, on everything. So you actually see where all those shapes go. So it's not too hard to figure it out, but you can always look at uh, other projects or um, the graphic that comes uh, with the, or actually I think it has a card sample on the back of the packaging. So you can always look at that for, uh, you know, how, how, how to put it together. It's also what I do um, <laughs> when it's a lot of pieces, then I just want to make sure that I don't mess anything up. Now here I'm, I'm using a ruler because I didn't want to um, eyeball this. I wanted the wheels to be right. And then I'm trying to, connect everything here and at this point I only made two wag wagons but later I realized I wanted to make a, a, a slimline card and it just felt like I needed three wagons so I'm going, going to create an extra but it looks exactly the same and now I'm covering those uh, holes just I'm just backing that area with the red cardstock but now I realize that you could actually add some stitching to that it's it would be very simple and it could add a little bit more interest and texture to the card and now I'm going to connect all these pieces and then I will set aside that um, train as well because I don't quite know what I want to add to the wagons yet. There are uh, ornaments, uh, these big baubles, or there are some um, smaller square shapes, rectangles that you can create uh, presents with. So there's quite a few uh, things that you can do, but of course you can also use uh, die sets that you already have I don't know maybe there are some um, older sets where there are tiny toys or you know like a little bear or something that is um, quite typical on Christmas cards um, yeah I will figure this out later now there are some new embossing folders this one here is called Argyle Socks I think and it's in the Tinsel Time collection and then there we have two um, 3D embossing folders and the one that I showed earlier the poinsettia one is just the most amazing embossing folder ever I think and then this one here this collection is called <laughs> I wanted to say it so badly um, gnome for Christmas I think 
and there are some really cute gnomes in it. There's this gnome uh, tree. Um, this one you will have to piece together once you die cut it. It's like a puzzle. I will uh, use this and also the other cute uh, gnome that you can make interactive, but again, I didn't do that. This is another collection called Winter Wishes Camper. And I only have this, uh, the base, like the main set, which is the camper and then uh, some accessories like that uh, Warm Wishes cup that you can put on top and a wreath. Um, but you can also buy some smaller kits um, or die sets, I think, uh, with some different food like pretzel and uh, pizza and th th those things, but I don't have that. Okay, so I was a bit nervous about this here. Uh, so it has this um, um, large die uh, and, you know, the main die. So what I decided to do is that I die cut everything from white and um, pieced everything together so that it's easier to um, add the color after. And I also like a bit more dimensional, um, you know, like focal points on my cards. Um, the one thing that I learned while I was doing this is the the arms. The arm, I thought, or I assumed, you can see that the background uh, big piece that has the spots for the arms. And I assume that the arms uh, that you die cut separately, will you will also piece together. But that's not the case. So you will have to um, put the arm down first. And because of this, I actually ended up uh, die cutting an extra layer of white cardstock so that I could add, um, a, you know, the beards on top of the arms, for example. But I'm not going to add white arms. I just, in the end, used one layer here, um, the color cardstock version because I didn't want the arms to be too thick since I already had a layer um, glued down there and I think it would have looked a bit odd. So um, I'm also using a couple of pattern papers. Originally I wanted all the hats to be pattern papers but then I don't know I I think I just uh, you know it takes less time to find color cardstock in my stash than pattern papers that I want to use so um i guess you don't see the dark green cardstock that's the new forest cardstock that i use i think on almost every card now because i really love it but in, in the video it kind of looks black it is not black i just wanted to point that out but you will um see the final photos at the end of the video there you can see the color um, there is this cute, I, I don't know, lights, uh, whatever kind of strands. Um, I actually die cut a lot of, um, colorful pieces for that, but then I ended up not using them. Now, the other thing I noticed is that the, the bottom row of the gnomes, they don't have arms in the middle. So I felt like that looked a bit weird without the arms. You could totally add arms, but then you have to do it before. So for me, this was a bit too late in the process. So I'm, I'm just going to try to cover those up with stars, um, those empty spots. Now, um, I set that aside and now I'm moving on to the, the, the cute um, gnome that is uh, sitting on a an ornament. And this one you can make interactive with that hole at the top that you can see. Um, you can build a, a thick, like, a, or, or I don't know, maybe you can even use a, a foam tape piece there. I normally just die cut that part several times, many, many times, like seven, eight times, and then layer them. And then I have a, a thick uh, circle that's exactly right. Yeah, that one over there. And then it would um, kind of balance on that. But this time I'm just going to um, glue it to the background um, as it is. I'm, I'm not going, going to create a, an interactive element there. And I'm uh, trying to figure out how to put that uh, bow together. 
and um, the little gnome. Um, I'm not entirely sure I put this together right. Uh, I think, well, I could not figure out what that piece is for that you see. Um, I, don't, I don't remember if it's uh, dark pink or red. Um, you see that odd shape off to the left next to the arm. I use that as a, as the body, but I think it doesn't actually require a body because you can put the uh, feet on the uh, beard because the body you anyway don't really see. Um, you will see in a second when I put it together what I mean. But uh, I decided to add uh, a little bit of color behind the uh, beard. But again, I'm not sure if that piece is for that. Um, that that was my assumption, but you you see it do, totally works without the um, without that piece as well. And now I'm going to put together the uh, bobo. Um, by the way, I think this set is called Holly Jolly Gnome, again from the Gnome for Christmas collection, and I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> I. I don't even know. I mean, it's not that I'm obsessed with gnomes. I, I know I have some friends who are, um, but they are just so cute. <laughs> um, and then I'm trying to figure out the placement. How I should, you know, hold on to that uh, thread there. I have to move it down a little bit. And even so, um, the way I will put together the bow would kind of hide the hat. So, I will do something else that probably doesn't make sense, but, um, you know, you, you will see <laughs> in a second. Um, I glued the hand to the foot, well, to the, yeah, to the shoes, just so that I see um, where I should place the foot uh, so that the hand is holding on to that um, ornament, if that makes sense. I think it was easier to do it this way. And then that one is, um, well, this whole piece is almost done. And of, of course, I'm going to set it aside uh, until I figure out the rest. And um, yeah, so the tails, I prefer if they are kind of uh, pointing downwards, not uh, layered below the, um, the bow somehow. Uh, so because of this, uh, the, I think the tails are hiding my gnome, so I will have to change something there. And then I added a piece of cardstock at the back so that the two sides are um, held together. Now I'm moving on to the camper, and that is also a lot of pieces, but again, like the other ones, has it has embossing or embossed lines, so you will see where to put everything. And while I was putting together this i learned a new word by the way somebody commented last time when i did the taco truck that it's called awning so i don't know if, if it is but <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say so those uh, that negative piece that you see there that i'm working with now i noticed that it would be perfect for a window frame so to say so um for my door i think it's a bit more interesting so i use that piece it was a total accident i just it just looked like a you know one of those doors and um yeah i'm gluing down uh, all these dark uh, beautiful green pieces onto my camper and then uh there's again you see that there's a lot of small pieces there were some that i also didn't quite know uh, what they were for but then really if you look at um, some other ladies projects you will uh, see where they go and then you will realize oh my god why didn't I think of that <laughs> um, then yeah I don't actually see what I'm doing right now because I have this re the recording um, screen on top so uh, bear with me um, the, the whole thing is out of frame for me right now um, but I'm guessing I'm just putting together everything. And also the door, you can open the door. So you can put that in, in uh, different positions to make your card um, a bit more dimensional if you want. Now for the 
wheel. There were actually several small circle dies, so I think you can even uh, create a more colorful uh, wheel, unless the circles were for something else. But I don't know, I just used three of them. And then, um, yeah, what else? That's the handle for the door, and then uh, this little piece that I have no idea what the name is or if it even has a name and then uh, there is a wreath that uh, you can put on but of course again this is um, a set where you can uh, what, what you can totally use all year and then just add different uh, little decorations there are so many um, small sets from Spabinders that would work with this probably a lot of the accessories uh, from the open I think it was called open door collection where there was this door and it came with a lot of different um, add-on kits probably you could uh, combine those um, and then this one I, I have no idea if that's a straw or anything uh, I don't know I would never put a straw in a warm drink I um, think that's the best way to burn yourself so maybe it's a piece of marshmallow I don't know <laughs> but it looks cute so um yeah so this is this comes on top and i think in the add-on kit there's a big pretzel uh pizza and i don't know what else that you can put on top and then i think with this uh set uh, there's a merry christmas and a happy holidays um sentiment and i'm in on this one i'm going to use happy holidays and i will add some foam tape to the back uh because i want this uh, to be dimensional and I I am trying to add foam tape to most of it so that it's uh, sturdy not to the very teeny tiny pieces those I I can't and this also comes with the set um, so I'm creating a snowbank I think it, it comes with this set now you know now I don't know actually because um, I used so many sets together to create these cards that now nah, i'm uncertain okay so this is the normal embossing folder this is not a 3d embossing folder so this you can just um you don't need to add water this this one is um embossing perfectly as it is so i'm adding a piece of um textured cardstock to my background and then i'm adding this uh, snowbank piece and I will just glue down my card. So actually, this is the first card that I'm finishing. Uh, this one is five by seven inches because this is quite a large die. And then this card is finished. I'm setting it aside and I'm going to work on the little gnome card. And this stamp set is also from uh, that collection. And I'm trying to pair this or match this Dune uh, color cardstock with one of the Alta New inks. And I think it's uh, the Sand Dunes one that is um, the lightest color. And just remember now it looks a bit uh, dark, darker, but it's going to fade as it dries. So it's not going to be this dark. But I kind of like it, even though it's busy. I like that as a background for my... Um, no ornament there again this is a simple card basically but um, i did not even add any embellishments to any of these cards i just thought they were really cute on their own um, this whole collection is really great and i realized that i didn't uh, glue down the middle of that um, circle so i'm just adding a piece of cardstock and then some um, foam tape to it and as you can see this is what I'm gonna do I'm going to turn that bow around so that my gnome is not hidden um, I'm sure this doesn't make sense but at least you can see the the gnome you know I didn't want to hide it um, now I'm gonna finish this uh, gnome tree card and for this one uh, if you noticed I die cut happy holidays earlier and um, I'm using just the letters, uh, not the whole uh, sentiment strip because that's quite large and it wouldn't fit on this card. This is an A2 size card and my uh, previous um, gnome ornament card was also A2 size. So I'm using the um, 
I'm using some temporary glue on this sentiment strip so I can line up my letters. And my advice here is that every time you glue down a letter, you pull up the strip behind it so that it doesn't uh, get stuck because even if you uh, you know wipe off the glue um, these are teeny tiny letters um, there there's bound to be some um, oozing there so just remove that strip after every letter and I'm trying to figure out how to add that wreath I wanted to add it as a uh, top a tree topper but I I don't know I felt like I, I don't know, I didn't want to um, tuck it behind the hat, so I'm just going to layer it on uh, top of it, basically. And I add a few stars here and there, um, and that's it. I did not add any of that those light strands. They could be really cute, but I think I already had too many colors, maybe. I, I don't know, it just somehow it didn't work for me. Um, now I'm going to try to figure out how I want to place those hands. I want these two creatures to hold hands, so um, like friends. And there is a sentiment here um, in one of the stem sets that uh, says holidays are better shared with friends. And I thought that was perfect for my two little uh, critters there. Um, and because I emboss this, and generally if I add uh, foam tape, I like to add an additional layer of cardstock. So I'm going to uh, die cut a second piece of the snowbank and I'm uh, gluing them together again, just so that it's, uh, it's sturdier. But it is a heavyweight cardstock, so it, you don't need to do this. I'm just, I don't know, I think I have a problem. Uh, that's it and now I am going to finish the um, well putting together the these two things Santa and the deer um, so one of the hands well actually the deer obviously doesn't have a hand but you know what I'm talking about so they are going to hold hands there and um, in the other ones um, I'm going to place some present, a candy cane, a small Christmas tree, just for fun. And I want them to be uh, not behind the snowbank, but uh, kind of on top of it. So I'll add some uh, foam tape to the whole uh, body, except for the uh, feet, basically, so that those can be. Um, flush with the surface there if that makes sense and yeah I'm not going to add anything else to this card either I did use some pattern paper in the background um, I guess if I had had more time I would have uh, used a bit more uh, pattern paper but I actually really like working with cardstock as well there are so many pretty colors um, out there so <laughs> You know, I, I, I love colors, so. Um, and then, because I really love candy canes, the look of candy canes, not the taste of them, um, I actually die cut a few more, and I'm just adding those. They're absolutely random, no idea why. You know, I just like the look. I think this embossing folder is from the birthday collection, if I remember cor correctly. I wanted to use something uh, in the background, of my train that is not so dimensional um, so I did not use the 3d folders actually I did not use one of them at all in this video but I'm going to come back for uh, to it for sure uh, later this year because they are beautiful I will use the poinsettia because I mean <laughs> I just couldn't not try you know um, so I decided to add a piece of pattern paper at the bottom I, I like to do this and then uh, what I also like to do is add an accent strip to, between the two where the two papers are um, uh, oh God <laughs> where the two papers meet each other <laughs> um, and this I used a 
piece of red cardstock for, um, and then I will just um, place my train on that. And I am using the other sentiment strip from the camper um, set, and this one is Merry Christmas, and I'm using that beautiful forest cardstock for this as well. And I'm putting my train on uh, foam tape because I want to be able to tuck um, everything behind those wagons that I want to be in the wagon. So these presents here on the left are from the snowman uh, die set and they just have a different look to them uh, than the ones that come with this train set. I did use one of the boxes in the first wagon and then I also use one of the uh, candy canes again from a different set I think from the deer set and the tree the little Christmas tree I think that was in the snowman die set as well and these big ornaments come with the train so and also that bow comes with the, the train so um, basically, I just kept with the color scheme that I had in mind. Um, you know, once you have a color scheme, um, then you don't have to think about uh, the, you know, the whole card and what to use. So I like to create cards in sets, you know, that they use the same colors. It's easier. Now, this one is the poinsettia. And just look at this. Isn't this amazing? I, I think this is the most beautiful um, embossing folder I've ever seen in my life and because of this I really didn't know what to do with it because I did not want to cover any of it up it's just so beautiful so what I'm actually doing uh, I'm adding a little bit of paint a uh, gold paint to the middle of the flowers and also to the berries I'm going to do but I I'm struggling with that uh, brush so I'm actually switching uh, to the water tank one which is not ideal but this one was the only one that had a good pointy end that I had on hand at the time the other one was damaged somehow so I, I didn't want to mess up the whole um, painting and then um, this again is the forest card stock. It's gorgeous. And then I am also only going to add some letters to this or like a sentiment. Um, but first I am uh, cutting a sheet of um, foam. Uh, this is a bit too thick, but this is the only one I had left. I really need to find this um, foam tape or foam sheet set somewhere I bought it in Germany but I have no idea where so um, I need to find it so this one these ones are from the stitched alphabet that came out a few months ago and I chose joy because it's only three letters and like I said I did not want to cover up that beautiful background um, as you can see I already added a white cardstock behind these um, color cardstock pieces uh, so that it's more dimensional and now I'm going to glue them on to the uh, shadow die die cut just to add a little bit of a white edge and then I'm trying to figure out how I should place these letters but I then uh, went with the really simple solution there and I embossed the sentiment strip um, and again I'm layering it on top of another um, cardstock just so that it's sturdier but you have to remember these uh, embossing folders are super dimensional so it's quite hard to you know to, to, to use foam tape on a sentiment strip for example on these larger shapes it was uh, perfectly fine but the sentiment sentiment strip I'm just going to uh, no I'm actually adding foam tape to it <laughs> look I totally did not remember this but I know I was um, kind of struggling with that um, but yeah that's it it's this simple uh, this card so you could easily um, mass produce this one then we have all the others done and I cannot believe that we are at the end of the video I hope you like this I'm really happy I could uh, manage to do this video because uh, there's so many so many wonderful products this month I hope you check them out um, the Halloween uh, collection I'm going to 
hopefully work with in September that also came out this month and it's absolutely adorable. So check that out. Um, There's so many projects that I've seen with that one. And I don't know what else I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, the club kits, uh, September club kits videos will be late for sure because we are only coming back uh, then. So uh, yeah, if you are waiting for those, just be informed that um, they will be a bit late. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.